My name is Taryn Williams, and I'm a senior at the University of Missouri Columbia. And I chose my major because initially I was business management, because my mom wanted me to be business management. Since I was going to culinary art school after I graduated, I just like, okay, that'd be fine. And what I ended up learning was that the business program here and the hospitality management program here had a lot of the, had a lot of the same classes, same requirements. So I was like, okay, what if I double major? And so I double majored for probably about a semester and a half. But then my GPA fell below, or no, my GPA wasn't at a 2.6, because your GPA has to be at a 2.6 in order to apply for the upper level of the business school. Because I was already a hospitality management major, me and my advisor talked. And so we were like, you know, you can still do a business minor, but I had to drop my business major. So that's kind of the story of how I just became a strictly hospitality management major. And I'm working on my business minor as well. Um, some of the obstacles I face, has, it's been a lot. It's been an interesting four years for me, but I wouldn't give it up for the world because um, my GPA failed drastically my freshman year. Um, fall semester my freshman year, actually, it was a 2.7. And it was really good. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. And every single semester, my GPA just declined, declined, declined. Declined to the point where I actually lost my scholarship which was a diversity award, and what it did was it actually waived out-of-state tuition fees. So now I have to pay out-of-state tuition fees, which was like seven, eight grand, which wasn't on my account, you know, years ago. So I lost my scholarship last summer, and it was heartbreaking. It was just like, oh, I'll be fine without it. Oh, I can take it. And then after a while, it just slowly, it destroyed me mentally because I never lost anything. I never had my grades fall below. You know, I was at a two. You know, I was... I've had below a 2 in some of my semesters, and so my cumulative was like a 2.0, but my semester grades were like 1.9s, 1.8s, and it was just like, what? It was crazy, and it's something that I went through, and, you know, it was hard. It was a hard summer last summer, because I knew that the fall I had, I was on my, and also, just to kind of throw salt in the wound, if you will, I was on academic probation for the spring of... 2011, or no, spring of 2012, and then the fall of 2011, I was on academic probation those two semesters, so if I didn't do well the fall of 2012, I would be liable to, or I'll be eligible to get um, kicked out of the university because of my grades, and I just couldn't take it, I couldn't do that, and so the fall of 2012, I did extremely well, I had my best semester ever, I had like a 3.4 semester GPA, and it was just so much off my shoulders, kind of seeing, going to my student account and seeing, you know, my academic probation was gone. It was just like, you know, and I thank God for it. It was just crazy. And it's just something that I'm, with kind of, like anyone that's had the same problem in the future, I'll be happy to tell them kind of what I've been through and to talk to them because it's crazy. You know, you never expect it, especially kind of for me. You know, I was so well. I graduated, I think, third in my class in elementary school. I was fifth in my class in high school. And then all of a sudden, you know, I just kind of started dropping and dropping. And so many people were like, oh, Tanner, you got 3.3? You got 3.5? I'm like, lower. Like, oh, you got 3.2? Lower. And it's like, oh, you got a 3? Lower. And, and they're like, man, that's crazy. I never would have expected it. I wouldn't either. But, you know... It made me better, it made me stronger. I'm so much better because of it. I can help someone else that's going through it. And you know, this is kind of the obstacles that I faced. And for me, graduating with this major would mean so much because I worked for it. It's not something that, it was like, oh yeah, it's been easy. It's been an easy four years. No, I had to work for it. I started well, I dropped off like crazy. Then I came back, and I've been working for it, I've been working for it, and, you know, I'm just kind of grinding it out, just trying to, because I'm going to graduate, you know, in, in December, not in May, because I had to do another semester, I had to do a small summer semester, which I'm working on right now, but, you know, I know in the end it'll be all be worth it, I know, you know, in December when I walk across that stage, it's over, and I earned it, it wasn't given to me, it wasn't, you know, I didn't take any shortcuts, you know, no one handed it to me, like, oh, here you go, Taryn, don't have to do any work, just kind of sit back and relax, and we'll take, no, I had to grind for it, I had to, late nights, I had headaches, I had to go through it all, but I know I'll be a better person because of it, and I'll be a better student, and I'll be a better man, and I'll be a better human, because now people that are behind me, they're like, man, I can't do this, and I can say, you know what, you can, because I did it, 
You know, I'm not greater than anybody. I'm not bigger than anybody. So I went through it. I can get through it. You can too. And I was on the top. You know, I was one of the best in my high school. Dropped. You know, not graduating with my friends kind of hurt. Not graduating with, you know, some people I started college with hurt. But, you know, I know in the end that graduating with this major just means the world to me. Because I know I earned it. I know me and my mom, has, my mom has put so many assets into this. She's liquidated everything she could. So seeing me walk across that stage is kind of benefiting her. Not just me, my family, my church family. They kind of know it. They know what I've been through. They know that it hasn't been easy. But I haven't quit. I haven't given up. I've had moments where my head hurt and I'm tired of school, but I know I'm almost there. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So, you know, graduating with this, with this degree just means a lot to me. And, you know, I just can't wait to December. I just can't wait to have it. I just can't wait to say, you know, I did it. I graduated from the University of Missouri with my bachelor's in hospitality management. And it'll mean the world to me. So, thank you.